two different workspaces in TurboCAD, model space and paper space. Typically, all your drawing is done in model space in a one-to-one -one scale, so an inch equals an inch and a foot equals a foot. Uh, when you need to put the drawing on a specific sheet size, either for printing or saving as a PDF, uh, that's when paper space comes into play. So uh, now I'm going to show you how to bring a drawing from model space into paper space. So the first thing we're going to do is bring up the views uh, palette. So I'm going to go to view, named views, named view. As you can see, I've zoomed to the extent of my drawing so it fills up the entire uh, drawing window here. So when I create a view, it will be of everything that we that's shown right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit new view. I'm going to name this view. I'm going to name it plan. Hit OK. I'm going to X out of this. And then below the drawing area, you see the model and paper one tab. I'm going to go ahead and hit the paper one tab to bring myself into paper space. Now this paper space, I have already drawn a title block. Uh, by default, if you use a TurboCAD template, there will be a title block inserted. If you don't like it, you can make changes to it or use your own or whatever you need to do. Uh, so I'm going to insert the viewport in, into this paper space. I'm going to go to view, viewport, viewport. Now I need to define the uh, parameters of my viewport by picking two corners, just like drawing a rectangle. Pick the first corner and the second corner. Now I've uh, defined my viewport. I can pick which view I want to go into this viewport. I'm going to go ahead and hit plan, then hit go to, then I'll go ahead and hit close. Now that the viewport is inserted, and the view is in the viewport, the view basically takes up the space of the entire viewport. It goes as big as it can. So I'm going to go ahead and scale it. So I'm going to select the viewport, go to properties. Under viewport properties, I can fix the scale. I'm going to check the fixed box. I want an eighth of an inch equals a foot, so I'm going to choose 1 to 96. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now also in paper space, you can insert dimensions, uh, text, uh, any sort of notation. Uh, a lot of that stuff is typically done in paper space as well. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a dimension. I'm going to pick my dimension tool. I'm going to go from the corner of this wall to the corner of this wall. And you see now that I'm about to drop my dimension, it says, wait, wait a second, that's not the, the correct uh, width here. It's, it says six and three quarter inches. But when I drop it, it gives the correct measurement of 54 feet. So let's try that on the other side. Let's pick one corner and the other. It says two and a quarter inches. I drop it 17 feet, six inches. And that's about it.